George. Let's see how it reads. Final shot. Camera zooms out. Booms up. <laughs> oh, well, I won't need that. I finished it anyway. Pulls back to reveal backlit, dusty trail. Cue sunset. Cue sound. Clippity clops. Music way up. Fade and roll the credits. By George, if that doesn't sell. <laughs> oh, TV viewers, you are in for a treat. I have just finished the shooting script of an extraordinary new movie, a film for television. <laughs> you know, I've got to get busy, clean off this miserable mess. First drafts, you know. Well, now, let me see. Uh, better get my cast together and uh, my crew and set up our shooting schedule. Yep. <laughs> Do you see this right in front of you? Yeah. What is it? Oh, look what it says. Uh, fade down and pull. Yep. You. That looks like a movie script. That's what it is, Kukla. Where'd you get it? Where did I get it? Right out of my own little head is where I got it. I have just finished the working script of a film that is going to revolutionize the entire T&V industry. Well, that's wonderful. Great, Ollie. <laughs> just great. Well, anything we can do to help. Wait, come here. Now, just a minute. I, you're not going to walk out when I'm just about to make this great announcement. Well, no, I want to hear. I want my little friends to, uh, to hear, besides which uh, there might be something very important in this whole thing for you two. You want some money. You want yeah. an investor. No, I'll see you right now. Come here. <laughs> I don't need any investors. I've got that all arranged for. That's Let's good. not even worry about that. First of all, I want to tell you what, what it's all about. Well, I want to It's hear. a two-hour made-for-TV film, uh -huh. which is going to be a pilot for a new series. Well, Great. wonderful. And who knows? Someone might even make a book out of it. <laughs> Great. Great. Well, what's, uh, what's the theme? Yes. It's a Western. Uh, oh. Fine. <laughs> Good for you. Uh -huh. Now, just a minute. I note your lack of enthusiasm. But this is a different Western. This is different. I see. How mm -hmm. could that be? Yeah. Just a minute. Just a minute now. Now, who are the heroes usually in a Western? Well, John Wayne or Roy Rogers or, or uh, Gene Dale. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah. Annie Oakley. Just a minute. That's where we change. This has a twist. I see. Guess The who? bad guy. Huh? No, not the bad guy. Oh. Now, Francis, please. Okay. Who do you think is the hero of my Western? Uh... I just couldn't Gee, possibly guess. Couldn't either. It's, it's a marvelous talking and singing part. Well, I still can't guess. It's the horse. The horse? The horse? Yes, deep in the tradition of black beauty. But it's a singing and dancing and, and talking part. Well, I thought Mr. Ed had retired. I did too. <laughs> Come on now, listen. Well, Ollie, you can't... There, where in the world are you going to find a, a horse like that? A horse like that? <laughs> it's not going to be played by a horse. Well, what then? <laughs> no. Moi. But, but you're a dragon. How, how could you... <laughs> Kukla, you also forget, my little friends, that I am also a great character actor. Well, that'll... That'll take it. That'll really take it. Yeah, well, good luck. And I should say, I I wish help, you will. Uh, you know, saddle <laughs> you up. Now, wait, wait. <laughs> you two kids are the kids I had in mind when I put tooth to pencil to paper. For what to made you think of us? To play the romantic leads. Ah, uh, well, fine. There's yeah. this cowboy. Oh, that's a different that's part. That's new. And there's this little girl uh, who has come from college to the West. Oh, I see. That's a great twist, too. Yeah. Now, just a minute. Ollie, oh, hey, look, uh, you know, fine. If you can get somebody to do it. No, you, you must think that I have just got kind of a bad script. You know, I have some very good writers doing this. Oh. Oh, and some very good music, too. Oh. You do? Yes, we do. Like, uh, Caesar Giovannini is doing some of the music 
And you know how good he is at clippity clop music. Yes, I... Well, and, uh, well, well, I mean, but do, do me a favor. One favor before you say no. One favor. Sure. Okay. Would you just look at a song that he and I have written for the leads, romantic leads? Sh sure. sure. We'll, we'll look at it. Well, here you are. Great. So long. <laughs> Kukla. Well, I looked at it. I promised that. I didn't, I didn't say I'd do any more. Kukla, come on. Look, why don't, you're good sight readers. Why don't you just try it? See, this may change your whole mind. Well, um, we're... I'm not sure it's Mikey. Can you see all right? Yeah, I can see pretty good. Yeah, fine. Uh, Caesar, would you... Uh, Caesar just happens to be here. <laughs> Isn't that nice yes, for the audition? Uh, not the audition, I mean, heavens, how... Because we have the part. If, hmm? Yeah, you have the parts. Mm -hmm. uh, Caesar, would you give them their notes, please? Where's mine? Where's mine? What's my note? Okay. Where am I? Okay. Okay, let's go. You, you are always with me. Though we're far apart. Lovely. I will keep you with me. Locked within my heart. It really gets me. Well. The only thing is, if you get this part, Kukla, I wish you'd put a little more Western twang into it. Would you just try the beginning so I can hear it? I'd like a little more. You could do the Eastern twang, and you do the Western twang, and never the twang we shall meet. meet. <laughs> oh. I saw that one coming, yeah. I, I saw it coming. <laughs> uh. um. You are always with me, though we're far apart. Now hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, you've just destroyed my whole picture. No, come on, we won't do it like that. We, we won't. Oh, you, you, then, you, then you think you might do it? Wait, if you could just go along with me, just on the first shooting scene so we could show them to our backers. Could, could I just go and think it over? Well, okay. Sure, Kay? sure. How about me? Sure. Are you sure you have backers? Mm-hmm. Who? Oh. A couple of racy horses I know. I don't know whether to trust you or not. Trust me. Trust me. Okay, I'll, I'll look it over. Could I take the script with me? Please do, Cooper. Oh, I think I've got him. Oh, we'll have a sensation. S uh, Caesar, now, uh, would, uh, could we just go over the theme music, please? It's important to have a good theme for a Western. Okay. Very clippity cloppy. Yeah, very sagebrushy. But wait a minute, there's something that's needed something that's needed in there. It's just one little touch that doesn't seem to work. I wonder what it is. I... Oh, hello, Werner. Werner. Hey, come in close and look at Werner. <laughs> Werner, you got your cowboy hat on. <laughs> yeah, Werner, listen, um, um, it, you're just swell, but there isn't really a part for you. What? Oh, you know what the theme music needs? What? Why not? Come on with me. We'll pull it in together. There. There, but how you? How could you do that? Caesar. Clippity-clop. Werner! Oh, Caesar, hold it. Hold it. That's good. Werner. That's beautiful. You've got the job. I just, one thing I don't understand. 
How are you holding that little drumstick? <laughs> oh, with your tail. Of course. Well, coil tight and let's go out of this scene with the clipperty clop music, okay? Please, let's go. Where's script girl? Script girl. Right here, right here. Right here, right here, uh, Mr. Director. Beulah, for heaven's sakes, where'd you get that hat? Looks like you just came over from China. Oh, well, I like that. You look like you just came over from Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> all right, now, let's not have any of this. You got your time? Yes, got everything already. Uh, okay, uh, uh, let's have the set designer, please. I'd like to get the set to... Would you take your little... Uh, uh, Clipboard, please. Certainly, 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 sir. I'll be right there with you. A la set designer. Here we are. Here's the set. Now, there we go. Beulah, what's that? It's cactus. <laughs> cactus? Those are styrofoam balls and toothpicks. It's all right. It's cactus for now. I said it's cactus. It's cactus. <laughs> all right, Miss Allison, will you step in, please? We're going to yes, shoot sir. the first big scene now. All right, now. Step uh, where? Where's your costume? Costume. I don't have any costume. Costume, please. Yes, just a minute. Here you are, Miss Allison. Well, what do I... Tie it around your neck. Okay. And use the method. Costume, okay? Yeah, that's all right, I guess, Fran. I don't know, it's so hard. We're, we're on a budget and everybody's doubling. I see. Now, I'm trying to get everybody to do favors. Do it's I have something hard. else I have do. to do? But no, no. Now, we're going to do the first big scene. Now, the first big scene is when you meet the horse. Got Where? that? Where? Where? Uh, in the desert. And this is, a, this, is, this is the keynote of the whole thing. Now, we're not, now, we'll do the first scene, then we'll do the last scene. These are the scenes I want to, the, the well, most don't difficult. don't you start at the top and go, you know, go? No, well, we're starting at the top, but we don't uh, go right through. We shoot what's most convenient, because both of these scenes take place in the desert. That saves money. I, I see. All right, <clears throat> now, you'll, you'll get the knack of it. All right, uh, uh, Rich, would you bring in the, the board, please? Let's slate it. Atta boy. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, now remember, you're here, you're meeting um, the, um, uh, the, the, horse the horse for the first time in the desert. I'm in the desert. You're in the desert. Have All I right. been here long? Uh, yes, uh, not too long. Okay. No, you're just walking, you're taking a walk. I'm walking. Uh, lock it up and roll it for a take. Speed, action! Oh, this blinding sun, this overpowering heat. Oh. I'm in terrible Hark. trouble. It must be a mirage. <laughs> but I thought you saw them. I didn't know you heard them. Could someone help me, please? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whatever is the trouble? I'm in pain. I need help. Well, I'll say you do. Uh, perhaps uh, you have a thorn in your hoof. Did you just make that up, Fran? This is not Androcles and the Lion. Well, I couldn't... Come on, stay with the script. Well, perhaps it's a burr beneath your saddle. Never! I am a wild horse, and I don't have a saddle. No, look at me closely, up near my ear. Oh, for goodness sake, it do is you a also... Cactus. Stand on your head at times? <laughs> no, I was just running through, as I am wont to do. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh, little girl, you have saved my life, and I will never forget you, and later I will return the favor. Cut! <clears throat> okay, that was pretty good, Fran. Pretty good. Okay, now yeah. can I go? Yeah, yeah. No, no, you got to be here for the last scene. The big, this is the big emotional scene. I see. Oh, this is, do you like my costume? It's just great. I can toss my mane from side to side. You sure great? can. <laughs> no, this is the big emotional scene. At the very end, when uh, uh, you are re reunited, you have been, uh, all, see the, sh during, during the other intervening scenes, you have been uh, taken captured by the bandits. In the desert? In the desert. And, uh, and your friend, uh, you know, that you are betrothed to, Kukla's part, oh. uh, had, was tied hand and foot across the railroad track. No. And with my sharp tooth, I have uh, uh, severed his bonds and carried him on my back to rescue you, and you are at last reunited. And this is the big scene. Uh, Rich, would you slate that? Uh, on stage, Kukla. I'm right here. Oh, you got a costume. Well, I don't know. Oh. 
Wow, what was that? <laughs> that was just a slate. Okay. All right, now here we are. The big scene. Well, you have re reunited us, and I, I, we can never be, uh, we can never express our gratitude. No, never. No. I must be on my way. Oh, pray it do. It is time for me to say goodbye. Do not leave us. To say goodbye? We want you to stay with us forever, forever and, and ever. ever. We are going to get married, and we will give you a lovely, lovely uh, stall oh, in the stable, yes. all of your own. And all the oats that in you the can world. eat. No, I cannot do that. For I am a wild horse, and I have to be free. Uh, hold it just a minute, Caesar. Listen, kids, this is not a three shot. This is my big number. This is a one shot. Okay, I'll meet you down at the canteen, okay. Ken. All right, Caesar. <clears throat> Too many, I'm a ninny, but I couldn't give a whinny for the comforts of a life that's safe and sure. I would not be able to settle in a stable in a routine that is mundane but secure. I have to be free, no bridle for me. It's clippity-clippity-clop along the trail. The sky is my roof. I must feel my hoof. A clippity-clopping over the hill and dale. Now the promise of an oat-filled barn and a cozy hay-filled stall to most would be a home sweet home. To me, a prison wall. Sing it, baby. So nay, nay to thee. I have to be free to clippity-clop the mountain path. No feedback for me. I have to be free to chumpity-chump the succulent prairie grass. So please no longer nag me, wild horses couldn't drag me to be saddled with responsibility. I have to be free, I have to be free, I have to be free. That's doggone cactus. Well, it was great, Ollie. That's a great song. Really great. I just have something to tell you. What's that? You're going to have to stop the film. What do you mean, stop the film? There's somebody downstairs who says that you have to stop the film. No! Well, who could want to stop my film? I don't know, Ollie. He's just a very businesslike looking gentleman. You better see him. Okay. Okay, well, send him up here. You might as well see me in my native habitat. Okay. Who could be doing that? That's the trouble today. It's so difficult for the creative artist. Always restrictions somewhere. Somebody stepping in. Probably somebody, maybe from the tax department or something. Who knows? Well, right this way, sir. Thank you very much. <clears throat> my, uh, my card, sir. Fletcher Rabbit, I didn't recognize you. It's me, uh, Mr. Dragon. Why so formal? It's my new job. I see. What did you do to your ears? What? <laughs> I just wearing a hat. It's a little more dignified. Read the card. Fletcher Rabbit. A F A V A. I'm the steward. Oh, it's a union. The Fava. No, that stands for the American Federation of Animal and Vegetable Actors. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Well, I, we're a union shop here, and we certainly... Uh, is this a branch of our sister unions? Yes, it is, a new branch. Well, I'd be happy to join. I have no object. It isn't that. We, um, I have had a complaint. I come here uh, on behalf of my fellow animal and vegetable actors mm -hmm. to ask you, why are you hiring a dragon to play a horse when there are so many horses out of work. Well, I, uh, 
You can't answer, can you? No, I can't answer. It's just, you see, I'm an actor and I do a lot of character roles that... I know, but it is unfair. It is absolutely unfair, and I, I'm afraid we're going to have to stop your film. I see. Well, I, I feel very bad. I, and I just was looking at this, for instance. Uh, are the, is this, is this uh, these, uh, aha, the, I don't believe, these are not even real actors. There you are, trying to get away with, uh, with, uh, with some sort of crooked thing. This is just terrible. Those, that's just styrofoam. Well, I know, but I, I didn't realize that. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, so the sagebrush division of our union is one of the strongest. Sagebrush and cactus, very strong. And uh, I just want to remind you, if you are going to uh, hire, I would suggest uh, hiring the cactus because they are cheaper. Uh, the cactus, uh, the, you do have to pay travel and housing for them, but no water. Oh, I see. Uh, now, the highest budget we have for, for the vegetable actors is for a tropical, a tropical forest. If you are making a Tarzan picture, uh, I would suggest you look into your investments very carefully. It costs a great deal. I see. Were you planning a stampede in your western? Well, I hadn't thought about it. Well, I just wanted to tell you that this week, uh, buffalo and cattle are the same race. <laughs> and we do have a package price for stampedes. But I can't let you go on uh, with the film uh, with you playing the part of the horse, as attractive as it is. <laughs> Fran? Yes? Kukla? I have very sad news to tell you. You do? What? The film is off. Oh, gee. I'm sorry, Ollie. I, I'm really very sorry. Well, I should say. Big union mix-up. <sighs> I'll never get a part like that again. <laughs> no, I My mean... luck holds out. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. Would you kids just go over that, you know that little song we were singing? You oh, were singing before? Sure. You got the music still? I can get it. Would you just mind singing that? Well, I'll leave the film is... I've got an idea. Now, just, just, uh, just try it. Uh, Caesar, give them their parts again, please. Which one What's was mine? What's my part, please? Me. Okay, let's hear it. You are always with me, though we're far apart. I will keep you with me, locked within my heart. It's so tender. You Okay, now listen to this. <clears throat> Opening shot. Camera zooms in across the moat on the castle. There is the princess. We pan up to her, leaning out the window with her long golden hair. St. George rides across the moat. We catch a glimpse of the dragon, backlit, <clears throat> peering out of his cage. <laughs> Listen, they can't complain about a dragon playing a dragon, can they? Oh, this will be a great scene! Come on, let's get uh, let's get our costumes and we'll we'll start shooting. Okay.